Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today what I have for you is five of my favourite pre-packaged snacks that you can pick up in your local supermarket if you're in the UK. Some of them maybe you might be able to find online. I know there is one product in here that I have only been able to find on Amazon and eBay but that doesn't mean to say that maybe it might be in another shop and anyway all the other items are found in supermarkets like Tesco, Waitrose, you know the general, Aldi, everywhere so yeah let's get into it. So the first one I am going to start with is the one that is found on Amazon or eBay and I personally buy it off of Amazon as it's cheaper. It is Cheesies. So Cheesies are literally just popped cheese, whatever that means. So the ingredients are just cheese and really clean, really simple. They're not fried, they're not baked in any oil and nothing like that. Literally the ingredients is cheddar cheese, pasteurised milk. The thing I love about these is they are only 122 calories for a 20 gram bag. They do also come in bigger bags but to be honest this is just enough. If you want that crunch, you want something savoury, it's like crisps obviously and in the keto diet maybe you might struggle to find crunchy snacks or maybe you just miss you know it's like when you're watching a film or something you want that little crunch so these are great they're only 122 calories per bag and they are zero carb sometimes when you add the snacks to your diet you end up you know the carbs add up here and there so these are great and it's just cheese so unless you don't want to eat cheese as well don't think that just because you're not on a low carb or keto diet these would not be a great option for you i mean why would they not be it's better than crisps all the all the normal crisps even if they are pop chips they're still fried in the worst oils or they've added all these strange ingredients whereas this is so simple like i said that one is found online but all the products i will try and list in the description so please do check it out okay the next one is something sweet it's from aldi and yes, you can find dark chocolate in any shop, of course, but I particularly love this one. This is 85% dark cocoa, and the darker you go, 85 and up basically is what you would eat on a keto diet. There are other chocolates out there that are maybe not as dark, but they've been sweetened, and that's great. But the thing I love about this, so it comes in a big box like this, and then, comes in little packages. This is a 25 gram package, so that's so good for when you're on the go or like you wanna just keep that in your bag. You know, you're out for a meal, maybe you can't get the dessert or whatever, you're in a pinch, you don't have time. Perfect, you just have a little chocolate snack and you know when you're looking at the chocolate bars and you're thinking, oh I could just pick up a chocolate bar. Imagine having that in your bag or purse or whatever. You're not gonna feel left out. For each bar, it is 4.6 grams of carbs. There are definitely darker options or other options which are less carbs, but I think that this is such a great option and it is really tasty and it is 85% dark cocoa. So if you can fit that into your carb intake or you can fit it into your calories, whatever. If you wanna know the calories, per bar is 152 calories. So definitely recommend, that is from Aldi. I love a bit of Aldi. And the next one is, is kind of cheese. I mean, it is cheese, basically. You might have seen these in the stores. You might have seen these in plenty of shops. I know my favourite one is actually Waitrose Organic Cheese. It's really, really tasty. And they do the pack of them in the little string bag. I, this is one I could pick up at the moment, obviously, during quarantine. The queues are ridiculous, the shops are very limited, so this is the only one that I could find and it was in Tesco. But they do do, I believe they do a Tesco's own one, which is obviously a little bit cheaper. This is probably no different to the, the Tesco's own, but all it contains is 
cheddar and that's it if you are maybe looking for something at lunchtime maybe you've gone into tesco or wherever your local shop and you can't think what to eat you don't want to buy a block of cheese really do you if maybe you're about to leave a house and you want to bring a couple snacks for whatever reason it is maybe you're traveling it's going to be no mess but you've got a little cheese snack give you a little bit of energy it, these are only 20 grams these little bars so i believe these work out about 83 calories per per little 20 gram bar and there's actually basically no carbohydrates in them no sugar yeah just something maybe a little bit filling and again something for on the go don't worry this is not all going to be cheese um the next one what i have is actually again something sweet the thing i love about this is it is literally barely any carbs it is these little jelly pots now this one is the one you have to get there are other ones which are Hartley's and they're shorter and they actually contain quite a lot of carbohydrates or sugar one either way sugar but this one is 0.4 grams of sugar for that pot uh, carbs sorry 0.2 grams of sugar of which sugars yeah it's 10 calories maybe after dinner you don't want to eat a dessert or maybe you just want something sweet this when it's nice and cold is really refreshing cream you can put a bit of cream on the side but if you're just looking for something low calorie low carbs so the only thing about this is it does contain artificial sweeteners but that's completely un up to your discretion whether or not you want to consume them i wouldn't consume this every day but i you know it's in the cupboard maybe sometimes i did buy it specifically for this video you have to have balance don't you so this is just one option okay last but not least it is a crunchy snack it is a savory snack and unfortunately i couldn't get hold of it in the shops so down to lockdown obviously i couldn't it wasn't in tesco basically you know queued up for about an hour so not really much i could do about that i do have the other version which we have in our cupboards but i'm not really a fan i'm not gonna lie basically it's pork crackling i don't know if you've seen this one this brand is the one that I've seen has the lowest calorie, um, sorry, has the lowest carbs. The ingredients aren't great. It's up, it's up to you. Do you want to have a snack sometimes? On the keto diet, usually you don't feel the need to snack or maybe you just don't want to for those occasions where you feel like you might be a little bit left out if everyone's eating crisps or, you know, make the social situations a bit easier on yourself. Okay, so it's not these ones, but the light version is really lovely so i'll put a picture somewhere on the screen and i'll obviously link it in the description but i believe the calories are somewhere between 100 and 150 calories per bag compared to this one i mean this is a 70 gram bag but you're only meant to eat 23.3 grams as a serving whereas the other one it's in a pink packet obviously the picture will show you that you can eat the whole bag and it's 100 or so calories this per 23 gram serving is 143 calories i mean are you really going to divide this out into servings for me if i have to i will eat this but it's very porky and certain bits are a bit off whereas you want the crunch the pink packet is like more like crisps they basically made them lighter they're, they're almost like the mixture between quavers and pork scratchings i guess they have got a bit of a porky flavor but they definitely do the job yeah like i said you can find them in tesco i haven't found them anywhere else i can't remember the exact carbohydrates for them but i would say it's probably like 0.5 grams for a whole bag because the original ones they're like 0.4 for an entire bag like i said you don't really have to snack on the keto diet because you eat quite heavy meals or not heavy but very filling and very satisfying but doesn't mean that you're not human doesn't mean that you don't want to eat snacks and it's really good to have options especially if you're just starting out and you feel a little bit like all you're going to eat is meat and veg well you're not going to want to do that for a long term are you to keep things sustainable keep things going i think it's always important to have options and yeah i just thought i would let everybody know that there are definitely things out there and you can literally pop down to the shop pop down to your local supermarket and there really are some good things there's definitely more if you want me to do more products then let me know like i said you can find a lot of things online but prices are usually more expensive it's good to keep things within a budget keep things convenient i know that means more success usually yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and it was only a quick one enjoy the rest of your week and hopefully we'll see you next wednesday 
please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe as it really does help and thank you so much, bye!